still not using the same techniques. All you guys basically need to do is understand what, how to create vertical and horizontal lines. And the best way I like to remember to, to go through this is just to think of them as equations. Right? Just think of them back as equations. y equals negative 2, y equals 3. Forget about the inequalities for a second. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is the x-axis. That's the y-axis. So if they say x is equal to negative 2, when y equals 0, x is equal to negative 2. But x always equals negative 2. That's the only thing we know is x equals negative 2. It doesn't matter what y is equal to. x always equals negative 2. So that's going to create a vertical line, where y equals 3 would be 1, 2, 3. y always equals 3. So that's going to create a horizontal line. So if you guys can just remember, when x equals something, that creates a vertical line. When y equals something, that's going to create a horizontal line. Now we have to forget about the equations and go back to what we're actually supposed to graph, which is the inequality. So if this says x is less than negative 2, remember less than, remember when we graphed the linear inequality, that was an open circle. Well, when we're graphing lines, rather than an open circle, you can see we have a line, but we're going to create a dashed line. Because any point that's on the dashed line is not a part of the solution. It's not included. Then we go and look into y is less than or equal to. Well, that's going to create a solid line. Because any point on that line is a part of the solution. Now you guys can just think about this. You can even go back. Here's your number line. We created a vertical line here. All values that are less, all x values that are less than negative 2 are going to be going to the left. Would you guys agree? And then all y values that are less than or equal to 3 are going to be going down. So basically, the feasible region where both of my inequalities are true is going to be this area here. And that's what we call our feasible solution. Okay. Right now, all you guys are basically doing is just graphing and shading. And that's it.